hello everybody welcome to chemistry concept and today we will be discussing about the adsorption isotherms in the sur surface chemistry so there are generally most favorable there are two types of adsorption isotherm in surface chemistry first is the friendly adsorption isotherm so in this isotherm what is going to happen we have equation like x by m is equal to the k p the power 1 by n where the x by m is the extent of adsorption or you can also say the amount of gas adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent and the p is the pressure k and n are constant and the value of n is greater than 1 so we have this equation so this equation is known as the friendly adsorption equation and when we is we are going to plot this equation uh, the equation I'll write again, again we have this equation so when we are going to plot the extent of adsorption versus the pressure what we will get we will get this kind of curve so this curve here it shows that x y m is directly proportional to the pressure and this pressure is the initial pre uh, some pressure suppose p naught and if suppose it is going like this so here this extent will be directly proportional say p and at this point the x by m will be directly proportional to the p to power 1 by n and the n value will be greater than 1 always and uh, th this equation we have suppose take the log both sides so what we will get we will get log x by m is equal to log k plus 1 by n uh, log p so this is the equation and uh, we know you have and we know y is equal to mx plus c so this is the constant and this is the slope here and this is the x value so when you are going to plot it by log x by m here and log p here what will happen you will get a straight line a straight line here and the slope will be 1 by n and this intercept will be log k this is the friendly adsorption isotherm and the uh, uh, graph between this x by m and the pressure is here so the next is the Langmuir adsorption isotherm so in Langmuir adsorption isotherm what's going to happen this suppose we have a situation when a substance a that is in gas phase and we have a surface and we'll get this is the ray k a that is rate constant in the adsorption and the rate constant in the uh, desorption so what is going to happen uh, when a gas atom or molecule occupies a single site on the surface are not dissociated and this is the process can be represented as like this so when the theta theta is the fraction a fraction of the surface covered at the equilibrium what is going to happen the rate of k a uh, p a and the 1 minus theta is equal to the so the forward reaction will be equal to the backward reaction in the case of equilibrium this is at equilibrium k is the rate constant for the forward reaction that is the uh, adsorption and the KD is the rate constant for backward reaction that is the desorption so this is the equation and finally you will get theta is equal to KPA uh, 1 plus KPA and this PA is the pressure of a gas A PA is the pressure of gas A and so when we are going move to the plot of this so we have the equation theta is given as k 
PA by 1 plus K PA. So, the theta here we have taken and here it is the pressure. So, the curve will be like this kind of curve. So, here what the thing that the theta is 1 or 0 and at this point the theta is kp by 1 plus kp and at this point theta is equal to kp or this is also the first order here so this is the langmuir plot and one more thing when the pressure is low when the pressure uh, when the pressure is low what will happen the kpa will be lesser than 1 and when the pressure is high this kpa will be greater than 1 and that case will get theta is equal to 1 and in this case what will happen we will get theta is equal to kpa that is in case of low pressure so this is the langmuir adsorption isotherm if you have any doubt please post in comment thank you for watching our videos don't forget to subscribe our videos thank you